We're going to be watching episode three. Oh. Hmm. Don't tell me those are Haru's hair. I had a date yesterday with this cute little dwarf rabbit. What? Oh you my god. On your girlfriend? <gasps> gonna kill you. This is the boyfriend? What a scumbag. She's sexy too. Okay. <laughs> in Jesus Christ. Uh, I think so. You know her? She's not a sound sleeper. Oh my. Once we're done. She cleans up after herself. Okay. So there's definitely a reputation that her has around this school. Make the mistake of falling for her, she'll quickly devour you and spit out your Yeah, bones. these rumors really Girls do like, like ruin people's lives, don't they? Than any carnivorous beasts. Well, there's no way anything like that would happen between a rabbit and a wolf. I wouldn't be so sure. Things are already occurring. Just relax. Oh yeah, things are occurring all right. This is my first time with a carnivore, too, you know. Is this some sort of greeting? <laughs> oh, like, she is such an innocent boy. I want to see how far it goes. Oh, wow. Is that okay? No. No, it's not okay! <laughs> I'm doing all the work trying to set the mood, you know. He doesn't want to set the mood? That's the reason you're here, aren't you? What? Oh, she completely misunderstood the situation so bad. Oh no. Did I really misread his Yes, <laughs> yes you did. It doesn't make sense. You oh let my me God. take off his belt. Oh. You put on your uniform. Like she really is just a kind boy. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> he runs away. A large-sized carnivore like him? He covers me with a sheet and leaves before being seduced? <laughs> He's definitely a little bit different. What an experience Legoshi had just then. <laughs> He's gonna pass out. <laughs> you were jumping down four steps at a time, so I thought something bad happened. Something bad Remember almost happened. What? Uh, apparently. God. This is a pretty well-known rumor among the herbivores. Oh, The boy. talk around school is that she's really promiscuous and has been with a lot of guys. Basically, she's a slut. Wow. She's trouble, so stay away. People are awful. There may be a lot of rumors out there, but I think she's a good person. I think so too. Huh. My what God. What weirdo. <laughs> Rude. God, they're all so narrow-minded. Literally, though. I mean, I'm not really one to talk. I was about to devour her. Oh, yeah. Somehow, that completely slipped my mind. The truth is, I've never had a girlfriend before. Oh, okay. So his experience with girls is All of you on this stage very, very limited. So no wonder he reacted the way he did. Your contributions help Cheriton to thrive and to oh. prosper. Is Louie getting it? Which is why we have gathered here today so I can present the Cherryton Honor Award to you all. I okay. A successful year ahead. I feel like oh. Louis just gets every award at the school. Coexistence and co-prosperity, our drama club, will continue to demonstrate its glory on this stage. Oh the drama club's like the heart and soul of this school. Cause usually in shows the drama club's like depicted as this like nerdy niche area where all the like high school outcasts go to. You can only join this club if they scout you. It's exclusive to those who they consider worthy of representing the drama club. Mm, okay, but what do they judge you on? <laughs> really? Come on. So not just anyone can join. For example, uh, let's take Sheila from the dance team. At age 14, that cheetah was scouted while she worked part-time as a dominatrix at a BDSM- At 14?! Mina the giraffe can't look at her own body because she's got tripophobia. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Moro the rhino believes he sees his guardian angel when it's really his own horns in his line of sight. What the heck are the requirements for getting scouted for this club? Only those with unique circumstances can join. It operates hmm. with the general theme of What's exposing like she life for what it really is. So, Legoshi, what's your secret? That's a good question. Is it because he's a carnivore that doesn't like being a carnivore? Does that mean Louis has a secret he keeps to himself? That's also a good Even question. Even a deer with as spotless of a reputation as his? 
I mean, everyone has a past. I've gotten by without facing the truth oh, for so long. Oh, Louis, my ever dear. Since I arrived here, go see a doctor. I don't want to hear it from anyone. Okay. It's too late to tell me that my body wasn't built to fight. I don't think it's too late. Excuse me. No. He's definitely having internal conflicts. No matter how hard I work, to predators, I'm just. It definitely seems he has some resentment for carnivores. What do you want? Uh, I wanted to finalize tomorrow's lighting. Oh, you're in charge of that. At hmm. yesterday's rehearsal, I focused the spotlight tighter in the last scene for a more dramatic effect. Yeah. I really like that he's focused on his claws. It just adds to like his wariness of carnivores. Your body becomes aggressive every chance it gets. It's unpleasant. <laughs> I'm sorry. I clip my nails every day, but they grow back sharp by the next day. Oh, Logacy. You're saying you can't resist it? Oh my god. Those feral instincts. <laughs> Louis is so aggressive. <laughs> Why is everyone pinning Logacy to, to the wall? <laughs> Why don't you take responsibility for who you are? If you can't hide it completely, I'd rather you show me your true self. What? Excuse me? I'm telling you to show me your fangs. I don't think that's a good idea. Carnivores exposing their fangs to herbivores is forbidden. I'm not just another herbivore! Oh. It seems like he has an inferiority complex as well. He hates to be looked down upon. Quit pretending. Come at me with everything you've got. Yeah, I really don't think that's a good idea. Go ahead, Legoshi. Bite me! Did I sense fear right there? Was he like a little bit afraid? But I I need to pretend. You're different. It means something that you're also strong. Oh wow. Tomorrow, it's so interesting that, that Legoshi hates being a carnivore and Louis hates being an herbivore. Didn't expect to hear that from you. <laughs> that was intense. My God. Hey, Lego she just starting, huh? Mm. You too? Yeah. It's kind of hard to see with all this Whoa! around here. I love how you all blend in. Each so animal well. has Does it feel their unique to you? room. Yes. That is so cool. Lego shit. That was the first time anyone's ever treated me as a male animal. Oh. I'm a mammal, carnivore, and part of the Kennedy family. Yes. And I'm also a male wolf. Mm-hmm. Are we having character development right now? Because i love to see it. What's this emotion I'm feeling? I feel like I saw a glimpse of myself. I'm at a brighter place. What is he feeling? I'm feeling happy. Oh! Then I'll accept this other feeling. His tail's too. wagging! That is so adorable. I want to see her again. What? <laughs> why? Why Why do you want to see her again, Legoshi? <laughs> is he really going to perform in his condition? Death. Does he really want to compete? With carnivores oh, that badly that he will not show any weakness at all. One single animal. <sighs> there is only one that I can trust. Yourself. And that's me. No okay. guy. The solidarity of this club remains quite strong. Solidarity doesn't mean anything now. I'm here. That's all that matters. Oh my god! He's a bit of an egotist, isn't he? Now. I'll show you something great. All eyes on me. Oh my god. The, so wounded. <laughs> the switch between 2D and 3D is just amazing. Oh! This... This is what I live for. Okay. Here we go. Louis' performance was fierce. You followed me here. Ellen. What have you done? Being with you is my true desire. I'm the Grim Reaper. 
I'll prove my love through death. Oh, wow. The drama. <laughs> it's over. The curtain's closing. Oh, no. Is I he going to pass walls. out? I gave my best He must be exhausted. I've done it. My legs are numb. Oh, no. I can't feel them. How am I even standing right now? You're not. <laughs> What? What's this commotion about? Don't you hear that applause? Let's get on with the curtain call. Well, Louis, you're kind of passed out. <laughs> well, what another phenomenal episode. Oh God, that was so good. Louis at the end there really, um, really pushed past his limits and he's paying the price for it. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if his leg is far worse than what it was. But you know, I can't understand his reasoning as to why he thought he, he felt the need to uh, continue on, to, uh, you know, push past his limit, to push past the pain, to continue with the performances. Because I feel like he, I feel like he um, has this sense of, uh, competition with carnivores and he understands that as a herbivore his body isn't as strong and he himself isn't as uh, strong as carnivores and he hates that he hates when people look down upon him and uh, carnivores even if they don't feel like they're looking down upon him just being a carnivore I feel like Louis just despises them more than anything because uh, they have something that Louis doesn't have and that's strength you know, because Louis's body is weaker than carnivores and he hates that so much. And uh, Legoshi not being able to accept the fact that he is a carnivore and to embrace the fact that he's stronger and uh, that he's faster and, you know, that he's a wolf. It just really eats up uh, Louis inside because it, it just further insults him in a way, is what I feel like anyway. But Legoshi and Louis are two very interesting characters that are kind of polar opposites. Well, I wouldn't say polar opposites. They kind of are two sides of the same coin, you know, the carnivore and herbivore side. Uh, you get the carnivore perspective and then you get the uh, herbivore perspective. And it's really interesting to see the dynamics between the two and how, uh, you know, how each compare and contrast with each other. And Legoshi, oh, he's such a good boy. He's such an innocent, nice wolf and I, Oh, I love his character so much. And the way he handled Haru <laughs> was so funny. It was so hilarious. He literally did not know what was happening. And he thought he was a greeting at first. Like, he's so innocent and I love him for it so much. And oh God, it was so hilarious. And the way Haru was like, wait a minute, you're a male and you didn't want to have sex with me, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I just love that Legoshi didn't like get into those rumors and just believed what he wanted to believe and that was Haru is a good person. And I do think that, I think that Haru is such a good character and I can't wait to learn more about her. And I guess Legoshi is developing feelings for Haru. I don't know how well that's gonna go since she's a rabbit and he's a wolf and you know, he also tried to devour her. But also, isn't there multiple performances that's gonna happen? Like, is, is Louis gonna be able to perform after this? Hard to say, but yeah, what a great episode. So far, this show's just been phenomenal, and yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, like, please dislike, but dislike, and tell me what I can do better. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you're gonna fight every single time I make a video. And I wish each and every single one of you a wonderful day, night, evening, afternoon, whatever you prefer, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Thank you.